So welcome to the first Granite Ridge seasonal video. Uh, in these videos, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to give you guys a few tips and pointers of how to maintain your house. Obviously, we know a house is a big investment. We wanna make sure that we're maintaining it, doing the right things to prepare the house for the next season. Uh, obviously, fall is in the air. We're starting to see mums show up at farmer's market. They're already talking about pumpkin spice lattes. Uh, it's about time to fire up the, uh, the fire pits for roasting marshmallows. Fall's a great time of year, I'm excited for it, uh, but there are some things we need to do on our houses to prepare for that. One is, as we start dipping into those cooler temperatures in the fall, where the nighttime temperatures start you know, flirting with that freezing temperature, we wanna make sure that we're unhooking our hose bibs. Now, all of our Granite Ridge homes come with a what's called a freezeless hose bib, and it's got a little pitch to it that makes it so that the water runs out and doesn't freeze inside the home, but it's just one of those things that's a good precautionary measure to go ahead, undo that hose bib, put the hose bib away, or put the hose away, and prepare that area just for any of those freezing temperatures. The second thing is your gutters. Now, you may not have some mature trees around your lot yet, but make sure that you're looking at those gutters. If you can see them from a second story window, great. If not, get a safe ladder, maybe a spotter, look up in those gutters, make sure there's no leaves clogging it up, because if there is, what can happen is you can increase your chances for an ice dam. And an ice dam can create some water damage on the inside of your home. Uh, maybe you've seen some like large icicles in the wintertime kind of forming off your gutters. That's a sign that your gutter is not draining properly. It also adds a lot of stress and weight to that gutter because that water sits in there, then it will freeze. And it's just so much weight on that gutter that's meant to just pass the water through down safely to the ground. So take a look at your gutters, make sure those are cleaned out. And then the third thing, in my opinion, that's one of the top things is, and I try to do it every spring and every fall. So the change of basically when you're going from the heating season to the cooling season and then back to the, the heating season is changing your furnace filter. So making sure that you pull that furnace filter out. We say that they last, those four inch filters last about six months. So perfect time to do it when you're going ahead and, and changing it from AC to heating for the season. Go ahead, take that furnace filter out and replace it and make sure you date it so that way you know when was the last time you changed that furnace filter. If you do that, your furnace is gonna run more efficient, it's gonna last longer, and ultimately it's gonna make you feel more comfortable inside the house. Uh, and then a couple other things that we wanted to mention in the video. So Granite Ridge has a couple of fun things uh, planned for this fall. So in the middle of September, I believe it's September 12th and 13th, and then the following weekend, September 19th through the 20th, we have our fall extravaganza. There's gonna be multiple homes that are gonna be on show during this, uh, multiple sites, several different locations, uh, all over. You'll be able to find maps on our graniteridgebuilders.com website. And another thing that's fun and exciting that Granite Ridge is doing for the first time this year is October 9th through the 11th, we're having a dream home showcase at Tullymore Run. So there's a new subdivision on the north side of Leo that is in the Tullymore, which used to be the old Cedar Creek Golf Course. We have two beautiful homes. One's a very modern home. One has is just has so many talking features. I really can't say enough about these two homes, but we're really making an event. There's gonna be tents set up out there. There's gonna be food trucks. It's really gonna be an event for the entire family to come out and see these two homes and have just a nice fall gathering out at Tullymore Run. Uh, so again, you're gonna to wanna to put that on your calendars. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you come out and check it out. And then we have another new subdivision, Grayson Heights is opening up on Tonkel Road. We're getting ready to break our ground on the first lot in there. Uh, lots are already starting to be put on hold. They're going fast. So these are some things you may wanna check out uh, as you got some time on the weekends uh, during this nice fall weather. 